Welcome back to the Palms. So the grand opening did happen a few days ago, so I wanted to wait just a few days just for all the craziness to pass by. I am gonna go ahead and give you a tour so that way you can see what has changed and what has remained the same. And I'm gonna show you a few restaurants, but I am gonna save the best one for last, so make sure you watch till the end. All right, let's go get started. So the Palms opened up back in 2001 and they have gone through several ownerships. Right now it's gonna be the San Manuel tribe that took over. And they did go through a renovation not too long ago. Like just the front desk, I think this front desk is freaking beautiful. So the rooftop lounge started as Ghost Bar, then it changed over to Apex and it was kinda of like a little nightclub type of thing. But now that they've reopened, it's back to Ghost Bar. It's not open just yet, but very soon. And it goes up to the very top floor and it has amazing views of the whole Las Vegas Strip. Let's just say that if they were open back then, they would've definitely been on my best rooftop lounge. You know I'm definitely coming back to show you guys this place. And if you want a fancy night out, you have to come over to Scotch 80. So this right here used to be a restaurant called Shark by Bobby Play, but now it has been converted into a VIP lounge. And all you have to do is be emerald or above, and it's complimentary to come in. So basically these four. So they have little snacks, they have coffee in there, and even if you wanted to get a beverage or a cocktail, you can definitely get one too for free. And they have plenty of space for you to just come in, relax, and hang out. Their hours do vary, so please make sure you check with the front desk just to see what times are open. And you guys know it can be a normal video without some pizza in it. They do have a very casual pizza spot right here that you can just go in, grab a slice and go. They have many different types of pizzas and they even sell alcohol there too. And then next to that, they have Green Street. Now Green Street is not open yet, but inside of there is gonna be a really good contemporary American restaurant. It's kind of cool though because you go in there and it's kind of like a speakeasy where they have these video games and then you kind of have this secret door that you have to open in order to get into the restaurant. It's a pretty cool place, I can't wait for it to reopen. And if you want a quick sit down restaurant, they do have Serrano Vista Cafe here. It's gonna be open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And some more good news, they brought back their buffet which we may or may not try out later on in this video. And then for my locals, you'll probably recognize this place the most because not only is it their food court, but it's also gonna be their movie theater, which is open already. Time for some much needed food. All the meats are smoked. We have a chef that comes in here at five, six in the morning, starts cooking all the meats. Everything's done by time. The biggest smoker we have is right here. We have two smaller ones. This one holds about 2,400 pounds of meat. This is where Sarah's was. Oh, that's right, before. yeah. So Sarah's was an upscale secret supper club. We all wear suits and ties. It was really upscale and fine dining. All the lights were on. Prime rib table side, cherry jubilee. Pretty much the whole shebang. You can probably think about it. If you think of uh, like the Great Gatsby, it was in this one. Can't wait to open this back up. Do you think they're gonna reopen? It won't be reopened. It won't be Sarah's. It'll be more of a craft cocktail bar. Oh, okay. And I'm sure you're wondering, no, I'm not gonna eat this by myself. I'm gonna have my lovely camera woman help me out with this. I feel like we have to do the brisket first. I feel brisket is like the best when it's hot. Look, it just like comes off like nothing. And that is moist and that barbecue sauce is amazing. Fatty in all the good ways, man. That is unbelievably good. Really moist. That is legitimately melting your mouth. I know I've used that to try food before, but you barely even have to chew. One of the most tender briskets I've had, seriously. They've been talking of the brisket ever since we walked in here, so this one's all mine. Before we tackle on the next meat, I think we should try a side. I keep talking about this mac and cheese right here. I feel like that brings me back to my childhood. Ooh, that has just the right amount of creaminess, too. Mascarpone and cheddar up in this mac and cheese. It's very tangy. The mustard sauce is absolutely delicious, but honestly, I don't really think the ribs need it. I think that they're like amazing on their own. And seriously, too, just right. Ooh, look at that. Oh, yep, mine is all. <laughs> That's how you know it's good. I'm really curious about these beets. Mmm. I feel like because they were cooked, it kind of brought out, brought out a little bit of the sweetness. It has the consistency of apple pie. Okay, yeah, actually, that's like a great way of describing it. Like cooked it. apples, there yep. you go. Okay, we're working our way up here, so next is the pork belly burnt end. I love how each piece has like the perfect amount of fat in it and then like the perfect amount of like the crunchy side on it. I feel like it has kind of like an Asian flair mm -hmm. to it. What's the next side? Cornbread, <laughs> which I know you said was your favorite. Mm -hmm. Tastes like I'm eating a pound cake. This could be my dessert, honestly. Okay, cornbread, 10 out of 10, recommend. So, oh my God, this is heavy. So for the final one, we have the pork shank, which they all talked about very highly of too. Yeah. Mm. Bro, like seriously? Like the skin is just so crunchy. Extremely big fan of the skin. This sauce is so delicious. That might be the best meat on the platter, I don't know. I was not aware we were gonna pick out like this. 
literally pig. <laughs> no. But we can't fill up too much because we have one more spot to go to. Ramen. Ah, mm. oh, I got the Singapore noodles, which come with shrimp, barbecue pork, curry, noodles, onion, scallions, and bean sprouts on top. So it has those undertones of curry, but it's not spicy like you would think a curry is. It's a little spicy. Love the chunks of scrambled eggs in there too. That's how you know it's authentic. Both these places were great, but I am saving what I know you guys are looking forward to the most for this last spot. So of course this is a brand new day because we can't just be going from eating a whole bunch of barbecue to a buffet. So yes, we are located at the Palms Buffet, which is called All You Can Eat, and we are here for their very first lobster night. This lobster night is only offered on Wednesday night, and from what I know, this is the only lobster buffet in all of Las Vegas. I don't even think there was a lobster buffet even before 2020. So we have Chef Chris right here. Um, I had a question, like the moment we got here, I was like, is there a rule to this lobster buffet? There's not much of a rule, but we are giving you one full cooked lobster and a lobster tail. And you're more than welcome to come back and get more after you're done eating. But it's all you can eat. That's an awesome rule. It's I like a, it. That's a pretty cool rule. <laughs> so come on down, try us out. We got great food here. We'd love to see everyone. So what we realized is that we only grabbed one plate for the two of us. We're just so used to sharing. So this is basically like an all protein platter right here. Oh. Salas porchetta, it looks really nice and they had kind of like this crispy, I think it's like pork around it. I love how crispy that is. Mm -hmm. Extremely crispy. I could just eat the crispy part, honestly. Mm -hmm. But the meat itself is very good too. It is. It's actually really uh, fatty, really savory. So even though it is a lobster night, they actually also do have crab legs. And what's really cool is that they had two types of butters. They had a regular butter and then they had a spicy drawn butter. That is so good. No, we have to try it with a spicy one now. It's not that spicy, but uh, it's a little bit. It tastes really flavorful. I kind of mm. like the spicy one better, honestly. Yeah, I feel like it's definitely what, like paprika in there, maybe Yeah, cayenne. maybe that's what it is. Ooh, you yeah. found? I love the taste of this saju. It is a very nice gravy. Really savory. Mm -hmm. And then last but not least, we have to try this little lobster tail. Some good steamed lobster tail right there. Wow. Yeah. Mm. And I still love the butter. I feel like it it makes everything so good. And yes, we did only start with just the tail uh, because we didn't want to get too lobstered out all at once. So right. we are going to go ahead and get lobster in a, in a second. Just give, give us a little bit. We've got a few different cultures going on in this plate. Now, I know a lot of you are going to criticize me for this. Like, why would you get pizza? Why would you get pasta at a buffet? Because you know what? Because I want to. Because it looks good. <laughs> <laughs> and they made the pasta fresh for us. So I'm not going to say no to that. And I love buffet pizza. I feel like I have to try at least one little slice. That's good. Mm -hmm. It's a great pepperoni pizza right there. So for the pasta, I do have a whole bunch of different choppies that you can choose from. I specifically wanted a pink sauce, so meaning like half alfredo, half red sauce, and then they threw in uh, some shrimp in there and some bacon in there as well. A little piece of uh, Parmesan. <laughs> I can taste the garlic that they added as he well. He added a lot of garlic mm -hmm. in there. And that's good shrimp too. Mm -hmm. Any other restaurant would charge you like $3 is for three shrimp. And then I also grabbed what's called a corn esquite, which is just a whole bunch of cut up corn with a lot of cheese and other toppings as well. I taste a lot of tahini on there. What do you guys like better with your corn? Sour cream or mayonnaise? Sour cream. Me too. This one kind of just grabbed my attention. It was a jackfruit coconut curry. Oh, I can taste the coconut milk. That is very Thai. Mm -hmm. For sure. Yep. Oh, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. I think you, should, you guys should try this one. A little spicy. A little spice. I love these little dumplings. There's like a meatball in there. I love these. Every time I go and get dumplings, I always order an order of these. This one looks really cool to me. I don't know why. This is the labne and grilled pita. Mm. Oh, it tastes just like big yogurt. Yep. It's a nice little yogurt and olive oil dip. I would snack on this at home. Uh -huh. So white gazpacho. Oh, I can smell the cucumber. It's like some sort of vegetable gazpacho style. And I like that it comes in such a little shot glass, so that way you just have the perfect amount to taste. A whole lobster. That's insane. Like both claws, the whole tail, everything. The lobsters are a little spiky, so I think we're gonna have to a lot spiky. <laughs> and oh. you get a handy dandy bucket right here. Splash zone. And, uh, Oh wow. Oh my word. Dude, this is such a good deal. I feel like we have to try the, the tail from this one. And we're gonna just pop it off. And then just. Ta da! Just don't eat the poop. Ooh. 
I took a huge bite mm -hmm. and it was incredible. It was so good. I think my favorite night from now on is Wednesdays. Yeah. I think this is such a good deal because regular price on like a regular night, which is what? Monday, Tuesday, Thursdays is gonna be $36.99 for their dinner. Fridays they do have a prime rib dinner for $42.99. And then Wednesday their lobster night is gonna be $64.99. So you're basically paying like $30 more for lobster. For all you can eat lobster. Yeah, I think that's a good deal. I would definitely say worth the wait in line, which today was night one and there was the line wasn't that crazy. And again, just like the chef said, they do have the rule that when you come up, they will give you just one lobster and I think one lobster tail as well. So you can come back as many times as you want. You do have to do a little bit of work, but that's okay, and it's worth it. Now, what I noticed about this tail versus this tail, um, because this one's already like cut out and they kind of cut it down the middle and they kind of took the poop out or whatever yeah. that is, um, you kind of have to do that yourself on the regular uh, tail. Oh yeah. They're all so nice and pretty. What do we get? Before it melts, I think we should just go for the gelato. I got a banana gelato and she got an espresso gelato. Bro. Just like a banana foster. I know you love banana. Oh, yes. This is some good gelato. I'm like surprised how flavorful this is. This just needs some Kahlua or something. That's an espresso. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Like we need to do these uh, little cream, cream puffs. puffs. Are you going to do this in one way? I think we should. <laughs> Let me unhinge my jaw for a second. <laughs> a fresh raspberry in the middle too. With nice the, little burst of flavor. With the whipped cream. Yeah. yeah. A lot of these desserts didn't really have a sign of what it was exactly. I mean, right. I'm sure we could figure, but we are gonna find out for a lot of these. That is so sweet. It is incredibly sweet and incredibly good. There's texture of cake, cream, and the melted chocolate over top of all of that. Now that is bite size. <laughs> that is perfect. We're gonna share this, right? We we gotta share it. You know, you know how they do that. <laughs> and then we're gonna, there we go. You, know, you actually made that look pretty clean. <laughs> that frosting is like super smooth. Melted right in. Yeah, my goodness. Ooh, ooh, there's raspberry in it. Whoa. I feel like their desserts are very potent here. Like the flavors are very potent. <laughs> They're very sweet and incredibly delicious. Looks like a strawberry shortcake? Yeah, like a tart. Mm. Mm. I'm a big fan of that one. Good amount of cream cheese in there. Yeah, like, like a cheesecake. Yeah, yeah. Just like, just like a cheesecake. We are about to roll out of here. Seriously. <laughs> but also before we forget, they do have a two hour limit here at the buffet. So just make sure you keep that in mind when you do come here. And the hotel is gonna reopen a lot more of its venue, so you know we're gonna come back to check those out. And then thank you to Lydia for uh, you know suffering so much today with me. Oh yeah, it was real tough to eat all that lobster. <laughs> so as always guys, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, share it with your friends, and comment below. Tell me what things you would do here at the Palms Hotel. Thank you so much for watching guys. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Squeeze me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, that was so ugly. Start with the brisket. They've been talking up the brisket ever since we walked into this brisket. <laughs> Obviously, I have brisket on my mind. <laughs> Plus, I love the sliced meatballs. Thank you. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's windy today, guys. Like, with the wind here, give me so much. Allergies. I love fall breath. Yeah. Breath. I love fall breath. Breath. I keep saying breath. Fall broth. There you go. This vivid memory of my grandma telling me that if I ate too many beets, my pee would be red. And <laughs> I've barely eaten beets since. You definitely She sounds lovely. <laughs> it's a really big bite. <laughs> Almost because it has a. No, shit. You know what I'm thinking of this room? Meet and greet. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> it's like a sweet and spicy sauce. Oh, I feel it in my ears. How spicy it is. Woo. So we are here at the Cosmo... No. <laughs> Not Cosmopolitan. <laughs> That was really bad. <laughs> Which is called All You Can Eat. And we are going to, no. Oh, hi. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Nobody ever said eating with Norma and Lydia was a delicate affair. <laughs> Why would you get pizza? Why would you get pasta? Pa what did they say? <laughs> oh, 
I need glasses. I can't read that. <laughs> oh, mine just peed everywhere. <laughs> Can I get a coffee actually? Yeah. Thank you. I have a lot of editing to do. <laughs> Looks like a strawberry shortcake. Yeah, like a tart. You're a tart. <laughs> <laughs>